Hi, today I'm going to show you how to take an exam at Pacific Rim Early Childhood Institute using Proctorio. Proctorio is a browser extension that ensures academic honesty during the exam so that it can be fair for everyone. There are three main things you'll need to do the exam. A decent computer with a good internet connection. I'm going to use a piece of government issued photo ID. And lastly, you'll need a private, well-lit room in which to do the exam. Private meaning there can't be anyone else in there. See, this is a pretty empty room I'm in. It's just me. And it's also well lit. There are a few things you're not allowed during an exam. These include a notebook. You cannot take a notebook into the exam with you. You can't take a textbook in with you. You should not have a phone on you. Probably best to just turn your phone off or leave it in a different room. That will help avoid having any interruptions. And you should also not wear any headphones. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is restart my computer. Just to make sure my computer is working to the best of its ability. Okay, my computer's restarted. There's no other programs running. If any programs started on startup, it's good to just close them. Uh, a virus scanner is an example. Uh, you should make sure that there are no scheduled scans during your exam. Uh, I guess those can really slow things down. And you should make sure you have a good, good internet connection. Do your exam from a room that's next to your router. Also ask other people, uh, other household members, to not use the internet during your exam. Especially don't be watching Netflix or other things that can use up a lot of bandwidth. On the topic of other users, um, you should turn off your own cell phone so you don't get interruptions. And with all of that done, you're ready to start. So open up Google Chrome. You cannot use a different browser for the exam. Only Google Chrome will work. And go to your in exam instructions email. Here, I've opened it up. Scroll down. So here's a link to download Google Chrome if you don't have it already. Here's a link to get the Proctorio extension. Proctorio is some software that will run during the exam to ensure academic honesty. I'm going to click on that. Click Add to Chrome. It's going to let you know about all the different things it can do. Again, it won't do anything while you're not in the exam. And press Add Extension. It takes a second or two. There it says, Proctorio has been added to Chrome. Close that. The Proctorio extension tab has been added to Google Chrome, but again, it's not doing anything just yet because I'm not in the exam yet. And then, whenever you're ready, you can click under exam link, click here to begin your exam. The Rim's website, earlychildhoodeducator.com. I'll need to log in with my student ID and password. So as a reminder of some instructions, link to this video, and then a button to pay with PayPal. Press that. You might need to log into PayPal, uh, and you may need to choose your payment method in PayPal. I already have, so I can just click Continue, which will bring me back to uh, Pacific Rim's website. And it's just confirming the name of the course that I'm taking, who I am, and uh, my payment amount. You can see Confirm and Pay. Now the card is actually charged, or the payment is made through PayPal. Now we're ready to go off to begin the uh, examination checks. Just to let you know, if for some reason you close the browser now, uh, you can come back and do the exam later and you won't be required to pay again. That's a one time per exam. Okay, I'm going to press begin Proctorio examination checks. Now Proctorio is letting me know about some 
privacy thing, so it's going to be recording. Uh, you scroll down, and then it, uh, it lets you know if there's anything you need to do before you start the exam. Here it says, close all other browser tabs and windows. One tab still open. Mm, that's right, I do have an extra tab here. I'm going to close it. And now that warning's gone. Now I can press start exam pre-checks. So it's checking that my webcam and microphone are working. Now it's asking for me to share my screen. Uh, you can't just press share right away. You have to first click on this uh, area that kind of looks like the screen. And then the share button is blue. I think it works that way in case you have like two screens. Uh, but most of it's just at one. So that's what you do. Just click there first, and then you can click share. Now that's working. Here, now you can see yourself in the uh, video. So you can see, um, if the uh, if you can't see yourself very well, if it's quite dark, you should get another uh, lamp or some more lighting. Uh, it's important that your instructor be able to see your face and especially your eyes. Uh, otherwise, they can't tell if you're, you know, cheating or not. So, uh, yeah. So. I look okay in here, um, but I do have an extra lamp nearby, which I would turn on if I needed it, but I don't think I need it. Uh, down here at the bottom, it says Proctorio is sharing your screen. That's intended. But there's a big blue button that says Stop Sharing, which kind of looks very tempting. Don't press it. If you press Stop Sharing, uh, the exam will stop because Proctorio can't tell that you're not uh, cheating. So what you should instead do is press hide. That way you're not tempted to press that button, which would make the exam end. So I pressed it, good. Now we can click next. Now it's, it gets your ID card out. Uh, Cause I'm gonna be posting this video publicly. I'm gonna not show my regular ID. I put some tape over bits of it, but that looks good, it's legible. Now it's going to verify uh, my webcam is working good. So it's going to have flash a bunch of numbers in front of the screen. Um, you should, and you can just smile, look at the camera. Uh, you should actually look at them just the whole time that the numbers are flashing. So as soon as the numbers start flashing, just stand still, smile, and it'll be over in a second. So here you go. I'm going to click it. So I'm smiling. I'm actually smiling right now. Well, and uh, it just skips right ahead to the next step. So I guess that worked okay. So now we're going to do the, or we're not quite going to do the room scan yet. It's just letting you know that when the exam starts, you will do the room scan. So, okay, I understand. And here's another uh, time to ask you to accept terms and conditions. Now we're sent back to uh, Pacific Rim's website, and this is the exam instructions uh, page. And it just again reminds you about several important things about uh, not cheating, basically. The exam is not started just yet. The exam will start when I click begin exam. Then it will ask me to do the room scan, and then I can start answering the questions. So I'm going to click begin exam. I'm all ready to go. Here we go. Here we go. It says, sorry for the interruption. Your institution has enabled intelligent room scanning for this exam. Yitty, yitty, yitty. Start scan. Okay. So we're actually, I'm going to do this slower than you would probably do this, but uh, it's, it's important that your instructor be able to see um, not just what's in the room that there's no one else with you oh see it took so long it thinks i'm done i have to start uh it needs to not just see that there's no one else in the room with you but they especially need to see that there's nothing else on your desk um i'm actually going to leave something out it shouldn't be out and you you can see if you can spot it so i'm gonna look around the room
and make sure you show what's underneath the where your laptop is. So all the way around. Now you probably noticed there was something that probably shouldn't be out. You know, I'll show you back what it was. And my phone right down here. Um, and your phone out like that is uh, something you should not do. Um, in my case, you can probably tell when I'm reading from my phone or from my notes for this uh, these exam instructions. Unfortunately, I'm allowed notes uh, during my giving instructions, but you're not allowed to look at your phone during the exam. It's, you can kind of tell when I'm reading from my uh, phone, and the, your, your instructors can also tell when you're reading from the exam. So you should put your phone away. So turn it off. Okay, anyway, so that's the room scan. We've seen that uh, there's nothing underneath of my computer, and we can continue with the exam. So the exams only, they're only ever one page. They're never longer. And here's the questions. So is it okay to have a dark room during the exam? No, it should be well. Wait. Um, continue on. What is the most important place to show in your room scan? On your desk or underneath the computer. Is it okay to read from your phone during your exam? No. Turn it off. And put it away. Is it okay for other people to be in the same room as you during your exam? No. Right? You don't want them holding up flashcards or whispering answers to you. Now, just as a note, at the very top here, there's a timer. Uh, we actually give you a few extra minutes. Uh, I suppose you actually can't quite see it. I think my screen recording is not showing the very top bit of it, which is annoying. But it says two hours, one minute remaining. And so that'll keep counting down every minute it'll go down. And, but what you can see is that it says auto save at the time. So every minute uh, your exam is automatically saved just in case um, something happens and you want to be able to use that. So you that should be comforting. And so once you've gone through it all and you're happy with your answers, um, you can click submit. Now there's an extra confirmation screen that appears here. Um, and so you just, again, you click finish. I just added that in case someone accidentally clicks submit too early. And now we're done. The exam is complete. Uh, you can remove the proctorial extension if you want, but you don't have to. It doesn't do anything unless uh, you're currently taking an exam. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, email the admin if you have any questions, and good luck.